welcome back boys and girls so we were solving a cambridge ig csc alternative to practical from october november 2022 okay so we did and we solved the question one in our previous video and now we are proceeding towards the question number two of the same paper in this you can see he says this a student investigated the temperature change so we are going to observe the temperature change when two different aqueous solutions of sodium hydroxide which is solution G and solution H reacted with dilute hydrochloric acid for for your information whenever sodium hydroxide which is NaOH reacting with HCl what happened a salt which is sodium chloride and water are formed this is called as neutralization this is called as what neutralization and we know that neutralization reactions are exothermic are exothermic as he clearly mentioned that is going to measure the change in temperature that is why we can easily say temperature will be rising temperature will be rises during the reaction or the course of the reaction whenever we add or mix these two of these solutions okay so now this is the procedure in this procedure examiner mentioned that a burette was rinsed with distilled water why just to keep that it must be pure any impurity must not be present in the burette so we have to rinse it we have to wash it okay instead of the rinse we may write as a wash then the dilute hydrochloric acid okay so this is the process of purifying or removing any sort of impurities from the burette after that the burette was filled with the dilute hydrochloric acid the hydrochloric acid was then run out through the tap until the level was 0, 0.00 okay so this is to make the burette like you remember that what type of the equipment is called as a burette a long this a meter length long a tube okay by the end it should be changed like this and here it has a tap here it has a a tap okay we, we make an open or close anytime and here we have measurings these measuring indicates the value volume the minimum volume that could be measured through the burette is 0 0.05 so that's why examiner said first of all we have to fill it up and then slowly make this to the level of 0, 0.00 okay after that he says a 50 centimeter cube measuring cylinder was used to pour 20 centimeter cube of solution G into the beaker now this is very important you have to remember the pieces of apparatuses which the examiner is mentioning so to measure the solution G or H we are using the what measuring cylinder whereas to measure the volume of hydrochloric acid we are using burette okay why because we don't know how much volume of the hydrochloric acid we have to add or we are going to add the volume of hydrochloric acid in portions that is why we are using what a burette okay as we start our tap on then the volume start to uh, trickle down into the beaker that contains sodium hydroxide and whenever we wish to stop we can okay and then we also know how much volume is added by the end then he says that five centimeter cube of dilute hydrochloric acid was added so you can see he's adding the volume of hydrochloric acid the portion of five so by the portion of five he is adding so after each five centimeter cube we have to stop this step then he says that after that the mixture of the beaker was stirred using the thermometer and the temperature of the mixture was measured okay so initially we must have to note down the temperature initially we must have to note down the temperature then he says the mixture of the beaker was stirred using the thermometer oh, sorry again the another five centimeter so i'm going we are going to repeat it until the total of 30 centimeter cube of the hydrochloric acid was added into the solution g and then he says 
we have to repeat all the experiment all that experiment using the solution H instead of solution G so we have done the two experiment in this way so this was the procedure nothing to do but you have to keep all the information in your mind okay here he says that use the thermometer diagrams to calculate so complete the table so here the table I'm going to complete it here you can see zero mean we are not going to add anything so this could be called as the initial temperature this could be called as the initial temperature of each each experiment so this is what you have to wrote it down here the temperature so I can see it is 21 exactly I can see this is 21 and one more thing the reading of the thermometer should be uh, till one decimal place okay it should be one decimal place value so instead of writing just 21 I'm going to write it 21.0 okay to make sure the value is till one decimal place the next experiment the initial temperature was 0. Point, we can say it sorry 21 22 23 24 so it is 24.0 and then you can see it says temperature change since start so it was the start and now it is the final so what is the change we can say the change is 3 the change in temperature is 3 next same in this way you have to complete the table here we can say it is 25 but the value I can see it is in between 25 26 and 27 so it is 26.5 we have to round it off okay that is the reason we are taking the value till one decimal place so we may not ignore this half value okay so the temperature change is 5.5 he says since the beginning so 6 uh, 5 point five from this value to this value so this is the initial temperature this was what initial but no need to write in your paper okay just keep it in mind next here we can see it is exactly this value so 21 22 sorry 26 27 28 so 28 point zero and the next value from 21 till 28 the raised change is what 7 or you can write in decimal places as I mentioned 7.0 and 3.0 as well okay next this is 29 this is 29.0 so the change will be of 8.0 next now temperature is dropping so what is the reason of temperature dropping now we may say that the reaction is complete the volume of the acid is now we are adding a sec excess so that caused the temperature to change and drop down till the initial temperature till the initial temperature of the acid which was 21 so now I can see it is again between so I can say 28.5 28.5 so the difference is 7.5 next I can see exactly 27 I can see exactly here 26 sorry 25 26 27 28 point zero so the change will be 7 point zero final I think yes so it is in between again so I can say 26 27 so 27 point 5 the difference will be 6 point 5 so we have to proceed and we have to finish all of the readings in this way for the second experiment as well and now in this temperature or in this experiment the second temperature the initial temperature is little higher than the first experiment so it is 21 22 22.0 here it is 25.0 so the difference again 3.0 next it is 26 27 28 but is again in between so I can say 27.5 
27.5 so the difference is of 5.5 okay so this is 5.5 next I can see 26 27 28 so it is 28 so it will be of 6.0 Here it is 26, 27 and it is in between so it is 27.5. Okay, so again now temperature is dropping 5.5. So at this point we can say when the temperature is dropping the reaction is completed. All of the NaOH has used up and now due to the addition of more acid the wall temperature of the volume or the solution is decreasing. Okay. Next, 26, 27. So it is, yes, 27.0. So the difference is 5.0. And here it is in between again. So 26.5. So the difference is 4.5. And last, it is 26.0. The difference is 4.0. So the temperature is finished or measuring and you can see how much more you will obtain 5 mars by just completing the table. So it's very good and easy question. Okay. Next he says that complete the suitable scale on the y-axis and plot the result from experiment 1 and 2 on the grid. Draw two smooth line graphs but both curves must start at 0, 0. Clearly label your lines. Okay. So I'm going to first of all see how much total difference is. One more thing. In this way, as he says clearly, labeling is required. So first of all, you have to measure how much total boxes you have. Okay. So I can say here one. This is first, second, third, fourth, and sorry, four and five. So total main boxes we have five and remember in each this big box we have 10 small boxes. Okay, so total we have 50. Total we have 50 small boxes. Understood? And now we have to check how much change we have in total in each of the experiment highest value. So the highest value I can see here in this experiment one was eight and the highest value in experiment two was six. Okay, so the best way is that we have to divide it, but it's very simple. I'm going to divide by 8. So 8 by 50, how much? I, it, 5s are 40. I think 8 So the value is 6.5. Value is 6.5. So remember like the temperature is very simple in this way uh, even no need to calculate this method or use this method we can easily calculate by a simple way like each small box could be 6.5 or in short in short i can make it more clear as total boxes we have five okay five and the total change in temperature we have to mention is eight Okay, total uh, change in temperature we have to measure is of 8. So easily I can make each big box equals to 2. Each big box equals to 2. So 5 2s are 10. That is more than 8. Okay, so I can, I can say it is 2 here. So it should be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and finally it is 10 so the maximum temperature okay that could be uh, shown on this graph is 10 but we have in the experiment maximum temperature 8 so the graph is fully satisfied and now we have to draw all the points which we have quickly keep it in mind starting value is 
the volume of zero volume of acid is zero but when we add the five volume value is three after each five five intervals the value is increasing just keep that three five point five and seven so just keep in mind three five point five and seven in experiment one three by the addition of first five volume uh, centimeter cube of the volume of acid the value we reached is exactly half of the four and five which is three so one two three four and five so here you have to plot this result. so this is the first reading second for 10 it was uh, three point so I forgot again it was 5.5 okay I have to write all these values so that I may not scroll down uh, again and again so 3 5.5 7 8 after that 7.5 7 5 7 8 7.5 7 and 6.5 okay so I needed uh, recorded all the values with me and now I'm going to plot first value I did and this is the first value then second interval till 10 the value is 5.5 which is again so in between 1 sorry 1 2 3 4 5 and then f this is 5 the f so we have again find the half of the this value so 1 2 and then this is the value here I'm going to plot use crosses okay for uh, plotting the values and use your pencil if you have done it wrong then you may erase it and do it again so very carefully very carefully then next the reading was 7 so here again half 1 2 3 4 5 next is was 8 so till 20 exactly 8 then 7.5 same here but we have to plot over here then next value was 7 sorry it was 7.5 this value was 7.5 so 1 2 and at this point next is 7 and the final was 6.5 final was 6.51 to here understood so now we can easily draw the curve we can easily draw the curve and then we have to label because the volume we added from here so the curve must start from this value but your curve must be smooth okay so mine is not but you have to because I don't have a proper situation that's why it may not be proper but you have to use a very smooth line okay like you can see I have some limitations I couldn't draw properly so starting again I am doing my best to draw this very smooth line but as I have some limitations I couldn't if I have the paper proper may be the case will is a difference okay so I did my best but you can see there are some rumbling so you may not have to do this so use your pencil practice is hard you will have the difference okay now we have to plot all the result for experiment 2 but before I can properly label this as experiment 1 this is what you can say this is experiment 1 okay now first I'm going to note down the values and here it is 3.0 let me note it down 3.0 uh, 3 5.5 5.5 5 next again 5 
4.5 and 5 okay now I have to draw for experiment 2 so this is first of all it's 3 again exactly at the same position so I'm not going to repeat the value is same 5.5 now this time again same so these two values are same next is 6 which is also same after that 5 now dropping so from this value again it is dropping so 5 after 6 we have 5 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 here 5 okay sorry it was 5.5 .5, not 5 Um, by the help 5 this one but this one is 1 2 hold on somewhat I pressed home button so it's shifted to the home okay finally after 5 4.5 this is 1 2 4.5 after that 4 okay so now again you have to draw the line starting at the same position like you can see I have again limitation so that's I'm starting over here but please start from 0 exactly going through the points which we drawn reaches till this point and after that it start to decrease smooth curve okay but please draw it uh, very smoothly use your pencil properly here this is just a demo for you so this is experiment 2 now this is done and you can see how much mark we get 5 marks so I think four, 3 marks are plotting and 2 marks for drawing the smooth lines for each of the experiment if smoothness is not there like my so I may lose 2 marks two of these smoothness lines will, uh, marks will be deducted from me okay so we have you have to be very very careful.